Hello, today I'm going to show you how to delay JavaScript on your WordPress website to improve the performance. So this is our, the, our test website. I will click inspect element and I will show you some information about it. So let's refresh and go to the network tab and you will and select JavaScript. And you will see a lot of JavaScript files. Um, we can try to delay them and uh, improve the website performance. So I will copy the link. I will go to page speed tools and sites and I will try to test my website. Let's see what Google page speed tool will show us. Okay, so the performance testing is completed. We will select the mobile performance, it's most important thing. And we will see, and you will see that in every website, uh, reduce unused JavaScript. And we see that we have Swiper from Elementor, which is responsible for slider. Let's see if we have slider. Yes, we have a slider, it's this section. And on your website, you will probably have a bunch of other scripts that are unused so okay I will show you how to delay the script and you can also delay all other scripts and delaying scripts can help your website to perform better and have a higher score so all of this we can try to delay and I will show you two ways to do it First way is by installing a new plugin called Flying Scripts. Fla and you will see the first option Flying Scripts by v WP Speed Matters. And let's install, install that. Activate. Okay, and let's click Settings. Okay, so this is what you're going to see when you open it and you need to enter some keywords. So for example, we can enter like uh, Elementor or Cadence or just JS and we will delay it. We can also enter the whole name like hover over the JavaScript file, go to copy and just uh, copy link address like this and we can yeah, just remove the version like this and you can delay it. Uh, so we just click uh, save changes. I'm going to copy this. Okay, just refresh, but keep your mouse away from the website. Okay. And if we take a good look, we will see that the WooCommerce.min.js is not loaded. I'm going to scroll to very bottom. Look, and it it has been loaded after 10 seconds. So what I meant is that if you delay the script, it won't load for some time or until you move a mouse on the website. So I'm going to refresh again. I will keep my mouse here and you see that WooCommerce script is not loaded. I will move mouse and it's being loaded and nothing is changed on the front end and all the functionality works as expected. So. You can like this uh, delay some scripts, you can delay all scripts, you can delay some of the scripts and so on and so on. So let's try to enter WooCommerce without anything, just the WooCommerce so as the keyword and we can select uh, timeout 10 seconds or never and never is if you move the mouse then it will load the scripts. If you don't move your mouse and you do nothing then nothing is loaded and the plugin will wait for the user input okay so we will do never okay save changes you need to write without the uppercase letters click save changes and do f5 again and you will see that woocommerce was not loaded and everything still works and if i move my mouse it will be loaded here you will see all the WooCommerce scripts, WooCommerce, WooCommerce, and so on. 
You have also some extra options like disable on pages. So that means you can enter the URL of your page that you don't want to delay any scripts. So it, it gives you some flexibility. Okay, I will show you now the second method. I'm going to deactivate the flying scripts and I'm going to install another plugin, which also delays JavaScript, but I like it a, a bit more. I'm going to write WP Mature. And I'm going to install it. It also delays JavaScript, but it, it does a bit better job than the flying scripts. Let me show that. Okay, let's go to settings, mature. And here you can delay the JavaScript for one second, for two seconds, or until user interaction. I like to set two seconds. Let's save the changes. You have also exclusions if you want to exclude something. And you have for Elementor some extra options, which, which I really like. So it prevents uh, animations from breaking an Elementor Power Pack Pro menu. So, okay, let's go back to settings. Click again, save changes. If you have a catch caching plugin, please clear your cache. So if you're going to reload the page, you will see that nothing is loaded. And after two seconds, everything is being loaded and everything works perfectly fine. Like this. Okay, and let's try to make a, one more test with Google PageSpeed tool and let's see if our problem is fixed by reducing JavaScript. Okay, let's see. We have 75, that's very good. We had 51 and now it's 75, that's very good. Let's take a look if remove unused JavaScript thing is gone. Yes, indeed, so there's nothing that we need to delay. That's very good. But our desktop performance is very bad, of course, but we don't have anything related to JavaScript. That's very good. So this solution works a lot better and it loads everything as expected without any errors. So nothing is loaded. We go to the console. Yes, no errors. That's very good. Also, don't forget if you're testing on your on your local environment, click disable cache so it doesn't cache anything and you can see the live preview of the website. So thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see some extra tutorials on this or something else, let me know in the comments. If you have any problems, also let me know in the, co in the comments. Thanks for watching once again and bye bye.